Okay guys, welcome to top 8 of the Athena Games uh, League Cup. Um, so now in top 8 we do have James Vincent, I believe, who is Tapu, playing Tapu Bulu GX Vikavolt um, against Tubbs Warner, who we've seen already on stream um, in a game he ID'd, um, playing God of our GX. I believe this was 1st seed versus 8th seed. I um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, we'll go straight into it. All right, guys, so we have James on the left and Tubbs on the right. So the guys have just shuffled up. They're just rolling the dice to see who is going to begin the game. Um, so I think a lot of people have sort of seen this matchup before. Um, and in terms of the way it goes, it does sort of tend to uh, sort of differ based on potentially what that Gardevoir could be playing in terms of tech cards, um, whether it plays stuff like Ace of Rollers, whether it plays um, options to heal. Um with things like Sylveon on GX now, um, it probably puts it slightly more, even more in Gardevoir's favor because it has that plea GX attack, um, <laughs> and you know being able to deal the 200 damage um, or the 230 is the main strong point mainly on the Gardevoir, but the 200 damage self isn't the easiest thing. Um, the Tapu Bulu GXs have to have a choice band with the NGs and discard all the NGs with the Nature's Judgment attack to do 210. Um, so again, it's also down to whether James also plays stuff like Tapu Koko uh, to spread 20 damage on all of um, Tubbs' Pokemon uh, before starting attacking with uh, Tapu Bulu GX. Uh, so here we are, the game does start and we do have the first energy attachment of the game to the Tapu Bulu. Um, it does have Horn Attack as well, which means that it can actually use that attack to start setting up um, the damage onto uh, Tubbs' routes for example. Uh, so we do see a heavy ball there from James. He does just go for the, another Tapu Bulu uh, GX. Um, he does, looks like he wants to attach one of his choice bands because he does have two in hand, but he does just pass. Um, it doesn't look like James has much going on in his hand. He would have been looking for the Ultra Ball just like Tubbs is playing here. Um, so he can grab a Tapu Lele and Bridget, uh, get like multiple grubbing out. Um, potentially another Tapu Bulu or any other tech Pokemon he might play. Um, just so he can start trying to get that um, Vigavolt out so he can just use Strong Charge um, on every turn going forward. Um, so, a bit unfortunate but here we have Tubbs um, getting, using the Bridget, uh, grabbing the two routes and an Eevee and attaches the Fairy Energy to the Eevee so he uses the Energy Evolution ability, getting that Sylveon into play. He doesn't have a way to retreat, unfortunately, um, but he does just pass and James does just uses the Horn attack for 60 damage, um, but Tubbs immediately Acer Rollers the active Tapu Lele and is able to now use Magical Ribbon, starting to take any free cards from his deck and putting them into his hand, really just picking any cards he needs and wants um, so he can get those God of Oz into play. Um, we're just having a little look here. So James actually does have another NG, so he's manually attached for NG, does use Nature's Judgment for. 210 damage knocking out that Sylveon but now here we have Tubbs just applying that pressure um, simply by those three cards that he had in hand so he would have been a DCE potentially a Fairy Engine and a Gardevoir um, there's the Field Blower taking away um, those Choice Bands from those Tapu Bulus and he's just able to use Infinite Force for 90 damage so it's just hard hitting even without Tapu Bulu having any energy in it uh, so James does top deck, it looks like a rainbow Tapu Lele. Yep, <laughs> sorry, it's quite hard to see with these rainbow cards nowadays. Um, so there is the Tapu Lele. Ooh, he's, he's just somehow Tapu Lele for free Pokemon without the Bridget. Hey, they, he's just got to quickly check. There it is. Um, so he does grab two Grubbin and a Mew. Uh, so the Mew is quite a cool tech. Um, with his ability Memories of Dawn is able to copy your basic Pokemon's attacks as long as it has the same energy um, available. Um, I do wonder what else is in James's hand because he does need a follow-up supporter and if he doesn't have anything like that this could be a, a, a bit of a problem so that he's just having to pass with that Tapu Bulu GX. Um, and there we go with the Parallel City which is really important. Um, it looks like that Muse is going to go down no, he does choose to go for one of his Grubbins, finding his Mew very important. So, so here, um, 
tubs will be sort of leveling the prize camp, prize field at taking two prizes on this um, Tapu Bulu because he's already dealt 90, he's just going to deal another 90 damage again. Um, he could have potentially have gone for another eligible for a Tapu Lele, maybe target that Grubbin and really just put himself in a position where you know, James is unable to set up another um, attacker as it were. Uh, but we do have that Mew, which also has free retreat, um, which is another sort of brilliant thing about the card. Uh, so James now did top deck an Ultra Ball. Oh, he did have an Ultra Ball in hand anyway. Um, didn't realize it was one of those golden Ultra Balls. So he did have two. So there's another rainbow um, Tapu Lele GX. Goes for the Skylar. It uh, looks like he may go for a rare candy if he has Vuka Bolt in hand, but I'd be quite surprised what he's going for. There's the rare candy. Uh, so not too much to shuffle about does just rare candy into the vehicle vault and uses strong charge so it allows you to grab a um, grass energy and the lightning energy from your deck attach it to your pokemon in any way you like um, so he's just attaching it to the mew and he does just use encounter um, so encounter allows you to search your deck for a pokemon and put it into your hand um, so james there is just going through his Probably just going to grab another Tapu Lede in all honesty. Um, be quite surprised if he grabs anything else. Like I said, he does need another supporter to continue um, building his side of the board. Well, unless he has no more Tapu Lele's left in his deck. He's gone for the Mew. Tubbs there with another um, Sylveon in a, in a position to sort of use PGX and attack. Um, so as well, and there's just a God of Eye. Looks like Tubbs is just going to Skylar. Maybe for an Ultra Ball. Uh, just get another Gardevoir out. Oh, there's the Guzma. Maybe start targeting down another GX Pokemon. Um, but he just does have it. Getting it out of his deck. And James has top decked the Sycamore. There's, another, there's the Mew again. So it has played it quite well. Because James is now actually having to... Um, uh, forced... He's actually forced Tubbs into a 7 prize game. But... With the Gardevoir active and Tubbs likely to get a second Gardevoir out on the bench um, pretty soon. Um, Tubbs is in a really favorable position here. Uh, so he does just Guzma and then free retreats back into the Tapu Bulu and deals uh, 210 damage once again. And taking another two prizes. And essentially what that does is... It's, it's putting down the two prizes, but that Vika Vault will be going down. So, yep, God of Heart is doing 150 damage with Twilight. Well, not with Twilight, with Infinite Force now, because there's another DC attachment there. Um, and this really just sets just sets um, James back quite a lot now. He did really need one or two, potentially two Vika Vaults out. Um, because if one goes down, he can continue to still strong charge. Um, so there's an energy recycler there. Uh, useful for getting those energies back into his into his deck for a strong charge. Um, so it takes any five energy from your di basic energy from your discard pile. There's, it looks like it's another Grubbin. There's a Sycamore. So it looks like if if Tubbs has an energy and a Guzma, um, he's able to actually bring up either the Tapu Lele or the Tapu Bulu or even just a Choice Band. Um, so. His current position here for James is that he will need to somehow survive a hit uh, with that Mew. Probably will encounter here just to get that Vika Vault into hand and hope he has a rare candy. Um, and hope that Tubbs is unable to actually Guzma up one of his uh, GX Pokemon. But there's a Charger Bug. So it looks like he's not going to be able to go for that play after all. Um, so Tubbs there attaches DC to Tapu Lele. Does play the end. So it's a lot more detrimental to James now because he's, en he's being entered to needs multiple pieces for himself to get a Vigo Vault out. Um, but at the same time, he would be unable to take the one-hit KO on the Guard of our GX. So there's the, there's the infinite force once again. So potentially what James has to do, his, his options are here is to simply go with the Tapu Bulu, potentially just Horn Attack. Uh, so it plays a sycamore. Just horn tap with the one energy. Um, well, that's not really enough either, unfortunately, because Gardevoir can just return KO um, if he can't discard the energy, as it were. Um, so he will need to actually rare candy into the vehicle and strong charge to the active. But of course, he he, he misses 
those plays and knowing that he's about his tapu boot is about to get knocked out he does scoop and go to game two um see so yeah, that that's a bit unfortunate on james's part um he drew a bit badly to begin with but you know sometimes he, like i said in one of the other games these things tend to happen um tubbs has been able to get everything going particularly with the consistency of the sylvian gx uh, using magical ribbon grabbing any free cards he wants um so yeah that's just somehow sometimes just how the game goes um it does look like james doesn't play tapu coco so he can't really spread the 20 damage across um tubbs's field you know tubbs does place ace roller as well so the way that james will have to go by is actually to use horn attack whether it's with the mew or um the tapu bulu um and then be able to start using uh, Tapu Bulu's Nature's Judgment for 210 damage and actually taking KOs through that means. Um, we'll see if that play is what he'd go for in game two. Um, it looks like we're about to start, so both players have a basic. It looks like James started a Tapu Lele GX. No. Yep, and there's an Eevee, which is the best starter for um, four tubs because he, all he needs is a, a Fairy Engine. He can start setting up his side of the board. Uh, there's the Ultra Ball, discarding the Ultra Ball and the Charger Bug there from James. So he, once again, he's probably going to be looking for another Tapu Lele. Um, going for a Bridget, as long as it's not prized. There you go, there's the two at the front. And he's probably going to get the Charger Bug. Not Charger Bug, Grubbin. <laughs> probably two Grubbin and a, maybe a, Gru, a Mew, Grubbin and the Tapu Bulu. Um... He really likes to prioritize that Mew, it seems. Um, mainly probably because it has that free retreat. Um, it has a pretty good ability and actually it encounters a pretty good um, attack to use as well when he continues setting up. So he will. He does have a Grass Energy Hand, so it's likely he's just going to attach that to the Tapu Bulu. Oh no, he does attach it to the Tapu Lele so he can retreat, which is fair enough. So there's a second Eevee and a Bridget in hand. So Tub's having everything going already, as long as he has a Fairy Energy. This is essentially an ideal turn one. Goes for the two routes and and the uh, Rem Raid uh, to evolve into Octillery soon. Uh, just so he can continuously draw up to five cards in his hand. Um, he does just pass. He doesn't have the energy in hand. He does have DCEs. But it's not ideal for him. Uh, but as, again, as long as Tubbs has a... Um, well, as long as Tubbs has an sort of a supporter for the next turn... He'd be quite happy for the situation here. Um, James, again, doesn't really have much going on. He does have... It did, Tubbs did have an N. Um, knowing that his opponent didn't play a support last turn, he's not going to play that anymore. Uh, does grab ooh, the Ultra Ball for the Gallade this time. Rare Candy's in the Gallade. DC and Guzma's up that Grubbin. And then... Whoa, what happened there? Oh, he does just Premonition. Not bad at all. So he will just take that one prize onto... Um, from that grubbin. Yep, sorry, I did just jump the gun. I suddenly thought he picked up five cards and tried to uh, abyssal hand with an octillery not out. But because he has premonition, he can set himself up so that next turn, hopefully, he's drawing another um, supporter because he's put that to the top of his deck. Um, but he has taken one prize already. Um, premonition is a powerful ability, especially combined with octillery. Um, helps you draw um, exactly what you need if you're only able to Octillery for two cards. So there's the Ultra Ball for the Tabulele and the Sycamore. Um, leaving James with just one bench space left um, in his deck. So he's going to be looking for to grab grab a Grubbin. Um, either through an Ultra Ball or sort of draw into it. Does he get it? He looks like he's missed. So it's potentially he might attach to that Mew um, and use Encounter just to put a Grubbin into his hand. Um, not the most ideal plays, but this is something that he might just have to do, unfortunately. There's the actual Grass attachment to the Tapu Bulu. Um, so he does go with the Tapu Lele and just uses Energy Drive for 80 damage on that um, Gallade. So Tubbs, I guess he knew what he was going to be drawing already. Hasn't instant played it, so maybe that top five wasn't too great anyway. So he does use Premonition. He's just going to stick that Sycamore to the top, surely. So he can draw into all of those cards, which are all the couple of Fairy NGs from Routes and the Gardevoirs. There's Acer Roller. 
and does just use um, sensitive blade for 130 damage because he did play the ace roller that turn so now his current position James here he's gonna have to yep Skyler for maybe a ball out just to get a just to get a grubbing out sort of start fretting that once again there's the ultra ball he's got a uh, Vika Vault in hand already so it's just and a second grass energy so he's just discarding that he's, looks like he's discarding the lightning energy so he's got to just make sure that he knows his um, energy count in his deck as well to use strong charge um, but he's played it throughout this tournament he's made it into top 8 so I'm sure he has a pretty good idea does have the rare candy Vika Vault so it does just attach to the Tapu Bulu and takes the knockout on the Gallade um, so dealing a total of 160 damage so there's that Sycamore so he Tubbs knows he's going to hit that God of War, but did he hit that rare candy? That's probably the real question. There's a Sylveon, he doesn't even need to. Oh, and the rare, <laughs> and the rare candy. So he looks like he played almost his whole hand down as well. So James is going to send up that Mew with that free retreat option. Does have the rare candy. Rare candy, Vika Vault. Looks like another Tabubulu. And the Sycamore, so it looks like a pretty good hand here. There's the rare candy into the Vika Vault. Uh, bench the Tabubulu. Didn't bench the type of booty, which is interesting. So we're interested to see what James is actually going for here. I think it'd be quite useful to actually just use maybe the Mew to deal um, the damage with a Horn Attack if he had the Grass Energy. Um, it looks like a strong charge here now. Grabs the Grass Energy and a, and a Lightning Energy. Potentially attach it to the Tapu Lele. Goes for the Mew. Retreats and uses Tapu Bulu to attack. So it's probably going to use a Nature's Judgment here to sort of reduce the, the amount of damage that Tubbs can do um, with that Gardevoir. So it deals 210 with that Choice choice Band attachment as well. So now Tubbs here, he's only got one energy on that. If he has an Ace of Roller, he does have Rare Candy in hand. But he just, oh, there you go. <laughs> Does have Ace Roller completely negates the the turn that James has just had and uses Magical Ribbon for any free cards once again. Most likely just to get more energy into his hand so he can start using um his I don't know, his infinite force attack and really just apply pressure onto James here. Um so that completely negates everything. Still two prizes ahead. Um so there's three prizes left to to James's five. So it'll be interesting to see what James does here. He has discarded quite a lot of energies already, so he will need to be looking for an energy recycler. Um, he does have the energy on that Mew, however. So it could potentially start um, going for a different means to actually um, take prizes here. Does Guzma is an obvious target might be to actually go for that Remoraid. Um, mainly because Tubbs is probably likely to have gotten in gotten that auxiliary unless it's prized. Um, because then that way, if he has ever gets end, he's never going to lose um, too much card, too many cards, because he can just auxiliary up to five cards again. Because he's already down to three prizes. There's the lightning attachment to the Mew, so it looks like he's just going to nature's judgment. He does just horn attack. No, he doesn't horn attack because it's thirty damage. He does energy drive, so that he doesn't get his energy discarded. That's what it looks like currently. Um, James has benched a second grubbing, which is pretty good. So, if Tubbs does go for the Plea GX here, uh, which is the Mew and the Vika Vault, if you can get hold of a rare candy, you can just evolve straight back into it. There it is. So, there's the Sylveon. So, ideally, James here is going to have to attach the Grass Energy or Lightning Energy to the Tapu Bulu and play N and Strong Charge if he. Because he has a choice band already, he'd be taking the knockout on that Sylveon. Alternatively, he can try and hit into the en an energy recycler, uh, get those energies back into his deck, and then use strong charge. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what he does draw off his N to 5 here. Because uh, Tub does now have the artillery in hand. There's the energy recycler as well, so pretty ideal. Goes for 3 grass energy and 2 lightning. 
Yep, so now he gets shuffled back into his deck. He's going to be strong charging, so strong charges to the active Tapu Lele. Knowing that he can't retreat that Tapu Lele, so he goes for that option. Does have another Lightning Energy in hand. So it does just energy drive that Sylveon for 100 damage. So let's have a little look at Tub's hand. It's an Ultra Ball. So you can just burning his cards down. So you can use Octillery for 5. Evolves into his second guard of our. Well, third guard of our. Sorry, he does have that 6, six damage one. Bissell hands for a clean 5 cards. Attaches DC already. So he's got access to 3 Secret Springs. Um, he only really needs one more. Just to take the knockout. But looks like Tubbs is going going for that Tapu Bulu. Getting that 5 energy on that guard of our. And here now, once again, taking charge of this game. Um, really just having a complete setup board. And unfortunately for James, he's he's just potentially just a bit too far behind now. Um, because of because that Octillery is out, because he's that Gardevoir with 5 energy on it, he's essentially taking a knockout on everything on James's side of the board. Um, so long as... Looks like James might be trying to go for a massive Tapu Lele play here, but it doesn't don't think it's going to be enough. Free energy doing 60, there's 5 on that Gardevoir. Um, doing 100, 160 damage. Um, so he does just play an N. So it be interesting to see what this game's going to be. But it does unfortunately look like it's not going to go James's way um, in all honesty. So there's the N to 5. He brings up that Tapu Lele. It's just going to be knocked out from the Gardevoir. Um, any Pokemon on James' side of field is actually going to get knocked out as long as Tubbs has another NG in hand. Um, so there's not much he can do, unfortunately. Guess he's just playing it out in his mind, trying to check exactly what his avenues are. He does, yeah, he does just concede game two. Uh, congratulations to Tubbs, uh, winning game two and his top eight match. Uh, for with a two a record. Um so yeah, he'll be progressing to top four. Um yeah, like I said, this is it's quite a difficult matchup for Tapu Bulu, uh Vega Vault in my opinion. Um it it is God of our favored and with sort of the cards that are generally teched into God of our now, it's just made it that all that difficult all that more difficult as it were. Um but yeah, well played to both players. Congratulations on James on making it to top eight and tubs to top four. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be back very, very quickly with top four. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.